This is a knife made of pure chevron amethyst. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with tech. Now I needed to make this because I need a knife that can cut and then immediately heal with its special properties. Also, I want to take on the challenge of shaping this incredibly hard mineral into a usable tool. I've made knives out of hard materials before, but it didn't really go well because I didn't have the tools to make it work. But guess what? I've got those tools now and I intend to use them. This is a diamond coated grinding wheel that will allow me to actually sharpen the amethyst instead of smoothing out my sanding belts. I'll use the water jet, of course, because I can, but that's where the other knives stopped. I also had to buy a $140 whetstone kit because diamond ain't cheap. First, I need to find a good specimen for the job, so I'll go undercover to a crystal convention to get what I need. I had a strange feeling of increased energy and euphoria while I was there. Not sure if it was the ores from other crystals or the 50 milligrams of another kind of crystal I used right before I went in. Either way, $50 later, I had myself a beautiful piece of chevron amethyst, named chevron because of the white chevrons going through it. Now that I have the gemstone, I can begin the knife making process. We're gonna do three cuts. That'll give us a practice piece and the center piece, which is what we really want here. All right, we're gonna cut a straight line. We are going to do it at two inches on generic quartz because amethyst is just purple quartz. Fun fact. We could use this if we wanted. Okay, that worked swimmingly. We are going to do another one. That is lovely. All right, this one's for all the marbles. I have completely removed the plywood here, so the screws have to be this wacky angle. We've also got the amethyst at a bit of an angle, so it'll give the blade an angle. Oh, I dare say that turned out just right. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. It kept the point and it tapers. I couldn't have asked for a better cut. Gonna have to grind that off. It fell off before it could completely cut. Let's begin with the diamond grinding wheel. I've sharpened a knife or two in my day, since what we do around here is make knife blanks all day. But I've never used a wheel, so I wanna practice a little bit with this scrap piece. Of course the wheel didn't fit on the motor, so it stops whenever I put pressure on it. Luckily I have a bulletproof solution. Then the wheel started wobbling, and unfortunately, I didn't have a solution for that. But I do got that groove in me, so I'll just sync my movements with the wheel. I basically made a completed blade using the diamond wheel just for practice, thinking it would last half my lifetime. Boy, was I wrong. Let's try the normal belt grinder just for toots and giggles, and to see if it can save myself time and money of buying a diamond whetstone kit. Huh, it kind of worked, but ooh, look how nice this looks in the light. Let's start by removing that nub on the tip. All right, now let's sharpen the blade. Hmm, that's not good. How about the belt grinder? Well, that was about as productive as a conversation with my ex-mother-in-law. Remember kids, you marry the whole family. We'll just smooth that out to get to a thicker part of the blade and try again. Uh, you ever tried to sharpen a brittle mineral? You ever seen, seen a grown man naked? naked? I'll figure out the sharpening part later. Let's move on to the handle. I was thinking bog oak because of its dark color, and then I'd wrap the whole thing in copper like these pendants. But then I looked over and saw the bakote all sat in the corner. Then it started tempting me with its siren song and its beautiful contrasting colors that I couldn't resist. Now I just have a bunch of leftover copper wire. Then I attempted to cut off a piece with the saw blade much lower than it should have been. Hey, look at me, I'm a moron. <clears throat> Now I just need to stand out of the way so this piece doesn't come flying back at me at Mach 3. I live to see another day without a knife handle in my sternum. But look how lovely this piece of bakote is. Mmm, wax. Seeing as the amethyst crystal cross section has left us with a tonto knife shape, I'm going to make the blade handle shape that's most common with said blade shape. Ooh. Ugh, ugh, that's awful.
And I'll make a channel for the blade to sit in. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Fine, I'll do it the hard way. So it turns out when I was doing those practice runs on the diamond grinding wheel, the grinder was becoming the grinded because now it doesn't work anymore. Let me show you a little trick I learned back in Nam. Four second polish. Look how pretty. Since the knife doesn't have a tang, I'll need to use the highest of quality five minute epoxies to secure it in place. We'll just cover the rest of it while we're here. Okay, now I'm gonna hold still for 10 minutes. Time for the big reveal of the handle. I boiled my linseed all over. If you ever need way too much linseed oil, give me a call. Don't forget to wipe your bottom. One painful purchase of some funny looking chocolate bars later, I'm ready to sharpen this thing. Diamond. The lowest grid I could get was 300, so that means I get to sit here and do this part for a few hours. That wasn't an exaggeration, it took me like three hours to sharpen this. So these diamond sharpening stones were like $130 and I can already feel them smoothing out because the amethyst is just so hard. It's a little coarser towards the edges versus in the middle where I've been using it more. All right, let's go test this thing out. Oh no. All right, let's see what this bad Larry can do. Look at that, that is paper thin. Huh. Able to remove me and molecules. No one could have seen that coming with its non-existent tang. Cucumber test. Oof, that's not great for the blade. All right, let's see how thin she can go. I'll be very careful. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Might as well be splicing atoms here. Oh, and now I am ready. How am I gonna do this? I have made a serious and continuous lapse in judgment. I take full responsibility for naming this video World Sharpest Amethyst Knife when it wasn't actually very sharp, but also it wasn't my fault. Oh.